Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. I hope you're having a great week so far. I'm so excited because we're almost into spring. Hello, so excited about that. Uh, today we're going to talk about a feature that I bet you're already using, kind of hard not to, grips. But I'm going to share with you a couple of tips that maybe you don't already know. In fact, a couple of them I bet you don't know. So let's start off with a pretty basic one, and that has to do with how to have more than one hot grip. So here I have a scenario where I have a polyline and I want to stretch all three of the peaks. So in order to do that, I would have to either stretch these one at a time or in the perfect world, let's make more than one hot grip. And the way you do that is by holding down the shift key. And then you can have as many hot grips as you want. You'll see here. Of course, the hot grips, those are the red ones, right? I'm going to go ahead and you'll see now after holding down the shift key, I was able to get three hot grips and I can pull the entire mountain or whatever it is up at one time. Now, a more practical application would be with a rectangle. So here I have a rectangle on the screen. You know, rectangle in AutoCAD is really just a polyline. And so it's really easy because it doesn't know it's a rectangle to mess it up, right? So I'm going to undo that. I wanted to make the rectangle longer or shorter, but I, I, I don't want it, you know, I need to do it at one time. I don't want to do two steps. So same scenario. I'll pick the rectangle and I'm going to make more than one hot grip. We'll turn our ortho on to make sure it's easy to do so. And then I'm going to go ahead and just stretch that. I can stretch it longer. I can make it shorter, whatever I want. So once again, more than one hot grip, use the shift key. Really handy tool, right? So let's take a look at this, kind of like this asterisk up here in the, in the top of the screen. And I want to array this asterisk. Uh, I don't want to do it using the array command. Maybe I don't want to do a full array. This is another way that you can do it. Really, really clever tool. I'm going to make a hot grip right in the middle. I'm going to do a C for copy, and I'm going to go ahead and just copy it one time and turn my ortho off now. Now, using the control key, guess what? AutoCAD will actually remember that distance. It's fabulous. Love this. So I don't have to remember it myself, and I'm kind of doing like my own array. That's by using the control key. So we know about the shift key. We know the control key. And what happens with grips is that the control key remembers the last distance or angle. So let me show you how this works with, with angle. So here I have just a very simple line. I'm going to make a hot grip in the middle and I'm going to hit the space bar because that's the way we used to do it <laughs> until I go down to rotate. I'll do a C for copy and I'm just going to pick an arbitrary angle. Now I want to duplicate that angle. All I would have to do once again is hold the control key down and you will see that AutoCAD will put the rest of those lines right in place. Same angle, duplicating the same angle that I had to begin with. So just another way to use grips, very, very powerful command. Remember shift allows you to have more than one hot grip and the control key will remember the last distance or angle so you can use it over and over again. Very, very powerful, right? I bet you, you didn't know that. So I hope you have a great rest of the week and I am gonna see you back here in two more weeks.